Hello everybody, hello Ramblers, hello YouTube. Um, welcome to the first uh, vlog of the new year. <laughs> I know it's a bit late, it's uh, February, but uh, yeah, January was quite stressful. We had to finish contract work and there were a lot of deadlines. Um, coming out of last year with uh, the DEP award, which is, you know, here at the Duro Shrine. <laughs> Uh, we wanted to submit Duro to more awards. Oh look, Pixel is there as well. Hello. <laughs> no. Such a sweet boy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's enough. Thank you. Ah! That took some time. But now we're back. <laughs> we're back working our own project. I was a poison and also uh back on the convention game uh, well at least verena is back on the convention game i sadly couldn't make it because somebody needed me to watch after them this one but yeah i will give it now to our woman in the field verena and she will tell you all about maxi our first convention of the year hi everybody so the convention is ending i was here in airport for two days, yesterday and today, on the Mac C, the Manga, Anime and Games Convention. And I was here at the Indie World. And I was here with our old pal Du. <laughs> it was an exciting two days because I was here alone, casting couldn't come. But I had my two friends with us, uh, with me. Maybe you already saw the uh, adventures through Erfurt with Tuli and Beal. And yeah, it was very... It was calmer than the Gamescom, so... <laughs> I don't have any problems. <laughs> no, the people here were wonderful. They're mainly in cosplay and everyone wanted to um, get all the anime stuff. But a lot of them came here and played and it wasn't as aggressive as uh, on the other conventions where only gamers are so it was very nice we had a lot of talks uh, people played small children played because we were one of the few with USK 6 so a lot of small children came to our place and they understood the game <laughs> and they were so happy when everything worked and I was so happy and the parents were happy that the children were <laughs> quiet <laughs> and then they started to become impatient because our demo was so long <laughs> so uh, I think for uh, certain um, conventions we need to make a, a shorter demo <laughs> I was very tired the last two days but I am happy to pick everything up because we have cool new poster that we can hopefully take home I'm just gonna take it home <laughs> and I'm going back to Berlin in a few hours and I will keep you posted what Tuli and Bill are up to on the way back because I still have a little time until the train goes so let's see if I can still catch some photos of Airport in the night. So now back to Castian in the devlog. Bye! Thanks Irina! <laughs> I really wish I could have been there. It sounds like the convention was very good wipes. And it wasn't too stressful, so I think it was a good start to get into, you know, the convention game of... <laughs> Can you please stop? <laughs> I think it was a good start in the, you know, convention <laughs> season. <laughs> yeah, so while Verena was at the convention, um, I got back into Was It Poison and Godot. There was a new version of Godot in December. So I decided to take a look at it and after doing that I decided okay we will upgrade to Good 04 and it also gave me a clean start to the project because before I was you know kind of <laughs> uh, messing around um, just trying to get used to the new engine and the new way of doing things. Um, so yeah fresh start with a much easier integration of Ink. Ink is the uh, story engine um, we use. After that, I was like, I can't look at, you know, gray boxes and buttons anymore. <laughs> so I decided, hey, I can do some UI work. Um, Rina does not like UI work. So I was like, okay, uh, hopefully she doesn't mind me um, branching a little bit into the world of art. I used uh, vector art 
um, which I recently discovered for myself. My partner helped me a little bit with getting started with Adobe Illustrator. And since our game is set in the 20s, I uh, decided to look at Art Deco. And Art Deco has these, you know, nice line works um, and these interesting colors. And I started to replicate it. And then after I was satisfied with, you know, a simple dialogue UI, I integrated it into Godot. All right, so what you can see here is uh, the dialogue overlay. So this is the visual part of it. But, and I, I hope, you know, it's not like last time where I play, play and something doesn't work. There we go. I have like a little test ink file, um, you know, with some line of test and I can have options. Yay. So one thing I need to do next is I had in Unity uh, a nice plugin for uh, text effects and stuff like this. So I need to find a way to do that in Godot as well. So they have like the, you know, the simple text formatting stuff. So I just need to um, change these tags, but I need to see if I can have like animated text as well, because it's something that I feel with visual novels <laughs> that will, you know, enhance the, uh, the experience. <laughs> especially when we don't know yet if we can have like full voiceovers or not. So that was what I was doing, <laughs> you know, setting up Godot um, 4 and doing a little bit of UI art and integrating it um, in the project and having like basically now we already have the centerpiece of every visual novel, right? It's a, it's a, it's a dialogue system and you can pick choices uh, and stuff like that. So it's, you know, 50% <laughs> of the game is done. <laughs> ah, kidding. So I will do a redesign of the crime lag mechanic I showed you in the last uh, devlog. And I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but I want to make it a little bit more visual and fun that's basically top of my list and then i will rewrite the murder case i have planned <laughs> it's always like getting back into the project is on the one hand quite hard because you have been out of it for so long and you need time to you know get to sink into <laughs> your project again but since you haven't seen it for a while it's like a different person did that and you can go oh um I can do this better and this doesn't feel quite right. So yeah, that's what's happening. And in the next two weeks, uh, it will continue happening. <laughs> and then I can show you um, what has happened at, at the project. Yeah, I know. So until then, I hope every um, Rambler on the Patreon received their little surprise <laughs> last week. Um, if you are on Patreon and you haven't, um, please let me know, please message me, then there's maybe like an address change or something like that. So I will resend it because we have like a little teaser merch. There we go. It's new stickers <laughs> from Betty, <laughs> um, who's our main character in Was It Poison? And Shameless plug, if you like to <laughs> receive those stickers as well, you can become a Patreon and support us on our journey and get these uh, devlogs a week before they go live on YouTube um, and receiving some, you know, behind the scenes um, knowledge of our game and what's it about. Yeah, of course, supporting us making our lovely murder mystery dating sim about toxic relationships and healthy choice of partner <laughs> but of course I know you know not everybody uh, wants to do that or is able to do it which is totally fine uh, but leaving a like or leaving a comment about those art deco dialogue UI uh, will make us very happy and helps us as well um, to grow so yeah thank you in advance and thank you to our patrons Gunnar, Thomas, Philip, Heavens Revenge, Granado, Sven, B2 and Michael, thank you so much for your support and I will see you next time.